Books are my absolute favorite way to learn. You can get deep into a subject by sitting down and looking at one stack of sheets of paper, basically, without having to look at a bunch of different blog articles that only go a little bit into the subject. If you're reading a paper book, you can sit down with your Obsidian Vault on an iPad or on your phone and start to take notes right along with it. But what if you don't want to have to take notes while you're reading the book on a device? What if you want to use something like a Kindle? How do you get that information into your Obsidian Vault? And can you do it automatically without a bunch of weird formatting issues or having to think about getting it in there? Hey, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work, and today we're talking about the brand new Readwise integration with Obsidian. So if you're not familiar with what Readwise is, Readwise is a service, it's a paid service that you can use to sync your Kindle highlights and other sources of information into one spot. It can function as a kind of spaced repetition system for these things. The items that were of interest to you, Readwise will pull into a daily review that you can have set up and send you an email with them on a daily basis or pull them up in the web app where you can look at them or pull them up on your phone so you can take a look at these highlights and get a review of the information that you found relevant to you at other points in time. It's a great place to collect this information and integrate it into your learning workflow. However, one thing that has been missing from Readwise for a while was the ability to sync to Obsidian. We did have the option for the last few months to sync to Rome Research and to Notion, but now Readwise has launched a brand new Obsidian Sync plugin, and it's amazing. So let's hop over to Obsidian to show what that looks like, and we'll figure out how to get it all set up together. All right, so I have Obsidian open on the screen here. I've installed the Readwise Sync plugin already because I got it from the Readwise team as an advanced release just so that I could do this video for you by the time that the plugin is launched. If you need to install a plugin manually, there is information in the Obsidian help docs on how to do that. However, what we're gonna talk about today is how to get the Readwise Sync set up once you've installed the plugin, and then how you can configure it in the Readwise app to customize the templates and the things that you're using. Okay, so as I dive into the settings here, I'll scroll down to the Readwise official plugin. You can see it's already open on the screen here. There is a button when you initially open this up to connect your Readwise account to the plugin. If you're logged in on your browser, it's literally one click, and then it brings you over into this screen. There are three options that you get in the Obsidian Readwise settings here. You can group your files in category folders. So for example, if you have articles, books, and tweets that you would like to have grouped nicely in folders in Obsidian under the main Readwise directory, you can do so. Otherwise, they'll just come in as one flat directory. You can set custom formatting, which we'll look at in just a second, and then you can also select specific items that you want to export. So say I want to only export these two books, People Powered by John O'Bacon, and This is Marketing by Seth Godin. We'll go with that for now. Now let's look at some custom formatting, because this is where the power of Readwise's Obsidian Sync comes in. I know that they're looking at adding a couple extra features here, potentially adding some YAML front matter. So be looking for that if it's not already in the uh, custom formatting page here by the time this feature launches. But you can see that we have a pretty simple uh, highlighting aspect here. We're, it's split up by chapter and sections. You can have links to pages. You can have uh, wiki links already embedded in here for the author, uh, categories, tags, meaning you can tag it inside of Readwise and have it automatically linked to those topics in Obsidian. This is something that I like to do because it contextualizes the topic areas of those books inside of my vault. What's amazing about this is when you import books into your Obsidian vault, it does a lot of the link work for you. You don't have to figure out what's connected to what as you go, because when you're pulling this information in automatically, the Obsidian Knowledge Graph creates gravity around those subject areas so you can see what's related to one another. It's pretty handy. 
On the right-hand side, we have the preview as we've been looking at. The left-hand side is where you actually make the changes. So if I wanted to adjust the title heading here, I could go title, and you can see over in the preview that it changes right here. I'm gonna actually revert that, but I just wanted to show you how that works. Then under page metadata, you can use all of these different variables in here. This is all the stuff that's relevant for the book or the article that you're pulling in. The author, the full title of it, the category of it, which is a, comes in as a tag as it's currently defined. You could put that in as a wiki link or not have it at all. Document tags, these are the tags that you've added inside of Readwise, as I mentioned. And then the URL, if it's coming in from an outside article. Then you can get down into highlights if there are different headings you wanna add and the highlight itself, you can change this to just a block paragraph versus a dash. This is highly customizable. You can format this however you want to. I am going to simply use this in its default state at this moment in time, just so we can see what it looks like. So now that we have these settings configured on the Readwise side, I'm gonna hop back over to Obsidian so that we can take a look at how this works there, how syncing works, and the things that you can do with it after it's synced. All right, so we're back in Obsidian. Let's take a look at these plugin settings here. First, uh, customize formatting options. That's gonna take you right back to the page we were just at. You can customize the base folder where this will be. By default, it's named Readwise, and that's where those custom category folders will show up if you have that setting enabled on the Readwise side. Uh, you can configure how often you want to sync. One of the beauties of this is if you're reading your Kindle at night and you have this set to automatically sync and your Obsidian Vault is up on your computer, by the next morning, all your Kindle highlights are gonna be there. You can interact with them. You can take notes on them and the like. Or you can automatically set Readwise to sync with Obsidian when Obsidian opens each time. I'm not going to configure resync right now. I'm going to have it sync when it opens, but I'm going to do this initial sync right out of the gate. Click this button. Now it's exporting it, creating the data, and now it's done. Let's pop out of the plugin settings here and see what's happened. Okay, so now that we've synced, we can see that we have this Readwise folder as defined in the settings and under the folder we have this books folder, which was defined on the Readwise side where we have these category files. And then under here, I have the two books that I automatically selected to have synced and the rest of them are not here. We'll open up People Powered by John O'Bacon. And you can see that this looks just like the template that we had over on the Readwise site. If I open up preview mode, you can see that it looks pretty nice. I might make some changes to this um, so that it looks a little bit uh, less cluttered with the bullets, because that's just more of my style. But you can see that we have the author automatically linked here. We have the category automatically tagged. We have this nice image. Uh, here you have the location that you can click to right inside of Readwise and get the context of where this quote came from. Uh, if you follow the channel at all, you know the fact that I am not a huge fan of quoting without context because Say when you come back to a book that you've read and you've just pulled some quotes out of it and you come back to it maybe five years later, what often happens is we lose the context of the meaning of that quote to us. So we'll read the quote and we'll say, why did I highlight that? That's, that's good, but what did that mean to me five years ago when I was reading it? Because a lot of the times, the context of our lives gives meaning to something in the moment that we're reading it but when we're out of that context, we lose sight of that. So taking notes on something inside of your Kindle highlights is one way that I have started to mitigate that as time goes on. So if we scroll down here, you can see, if I get towards the bottom, I have more notes here. Like for example, that async enables equity of access to conversation. It's based upon this highlight here. The other thing that this empowers here too is that you can go back directly into the book and see the context of the quote in the book. If you're doing research, this is really helpful because then you can see the broader passage that it's in and then you can quote it properly as well and cite it if you are doing some kind of citation research, which is not something that I typically do, but I know some of you do. So this is really handy. 
If you were needing to make changes to these templates, say you're doing a test sync and you wanna get your templates all worked out, you have to delete these files and then Readwise will resync them into the right directory. Um, one thing that is nice about this though is that when it resyncs on these existing files here, say I've read more and people powered and I want to come back and sync my new highlights and notes into this, if I've said, hey, this reminds me of community management. When I resync it, this information will not be lost. Uh, it will not overwrite any changes that I make. So if you wanna make deeper notes inside of this book note, or if you wanna link to a permanent note right here, that information will not go away when it resyncs. Readwise is available for $4.49 per month on an annual basis. If you want the Readwise light plan, which includes the daily Readwise email and access to the app to be able to browse your search highlight library and to sync highlights in. But if you want to export your highlights to Obsidian, you need to be on the Readwise plan, which is $7.99, per month on an annualized basis. So it's just under $100 for the year. Uh, this is the plan that uh, gives you lots of more features too, where you can organize your notes, you can export it to Obsidian or other options if you're into those, and you have all these other features that Readwise is adding all the time. If you're interested in supporting the channel, I do have an affiliate link below in the description. If you're gonna sign up for Readwise, do use that affiliate link. I will make a small commission off of it. Uh, it's one way that you can help support what we're doing here on the channel and with my side business and all of this fun stuff, helping people learn and grow and be more effective remote workers. So what do you think? Is Readwise something that you're going to adopt now that it has an official integration? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so if you found this video helpful. Again, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.